and the affection as well. It's hit you now, hasn't it? You've, you've had the nine months, and now, as you're saying, the six weeks to yeah. realise this is fatherhood. Absolutely. I mean, I've been on tour. It's sort of weird because I've been sitting around for the last six months, kind of twiddling my thumbs, and all of a sudden, I play on this tour, uh, and I've been kind of going all over Australia. And then, and then he was born. I had two weeks off, me, and then I had to hit the road a few times uh, most weekends. So coming home, I now know what it's like to miss someone incredibly not only the wife when you're away, but it's something else, a part of you, it's, it's a hard thing to get your head around or explain, but you know, I came home the other day, he was two weeks old and I'd been away for two nights, and um, as soon as I got home, I drove him and drove him home. Up me and smile for the first time. It's like that's what it's all about. That's exactly what life's all about. I thought it was all about you know, you know, writing songs and getting drunk and living the rock star life. And bedroom floors in heaven. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, nothing to do with that. I've I've, uh, I've noticed the last six weeks. So based on that, has it changed your your social uh, interactions? Have you become less of a drinker, less of a smoker? Well, I kind of had to, really. I mean, to be a responsible dad, and then you have to be. But um, do you take that? Do you take that well? Is that the balance? You've Absolutely. Got? Yeah. Look, I, I kind of, I'm not the, you know, I used to be like in early twenties. I used to be a real, absolutely, just off the chain. But uh, now, for the last few years, I've really kind of settled down. You know, I kind of you know, meditate and do a lot, and do a lot of a sort of more of a different. Holistic lifestyle these days. It's not not about um, going out and getting wasted and trying to you know try to forget your whole life and whatever through liquor. You know the buffalo phase is sort of twofold. I assume it's music, music of course, but it's also personally as well. Personal yeah, but, well, yeah. Buffalo tales uh, for me is um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to get everybody to listen really to um, music. around me, I, I sort of like, kind of wipe that slate clean and, and uh, create a kind of a, a new thing for people that don't know me personally, because um, a lot of people who know me personally know that I'm a songwriter, and what I do is love to create music, and I've been like that since I was 12 years old, and my heroes are, uh, you know, Lennon, and uh, Salvador Dali, and all these kind of different kind of artists, and people that change the world, I suppose, you know, and that, that's my, they're my kind of, um, uh, I suppose, uh, my heroes, but for me, you know, like, I, people think that I'm, you know, I like Bon Jovi, and, and you know, I, I don't know, it's, people kind of got me in the wrong, the wrong pigeonhole. What do you, the commercial music scene do to you? Well, um, did it toughen you up? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I suppose it, it made me realise kind of what it's, uh, what the music scene is in that level, on that level. That level is very um, fast, but also they churn out these sort of things, these kind of, I call them cheeseburgers in the sound. They, they churn them out without any thought or any process. It's all just all guns blazing, go for the throat. Um, People are dumb, so let's not give them too much of a creative thing. Just sort of go for the throat and, and sell, 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 sell. And people don't want that. And it's, that's where it's going wrong in, in the industry, I think, is they're all trying to scramble around. They're all panicking. They've all been panicking for 10 years without the music industry's changed. No one's got any money anymore. We, you know, But all the executives at major labor record companies have got a lot of money still. So, you know, people have still got drivers and getting driven around. You know, they're living the rock star lifestyle. But all the artists haven't even got $5,000 to run together for a video clip. Well, so yeah. it's kind of, you know, for me, like, I, I kind of feel it's really insane. And to be to be under that kind of spell uh, for any amount of, uh, amount of time, I was just going to kill my career, to be honest. And I, I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to just create my music and have a voice in it. Because I felt like I was just being strangled the whole time. You know? 
Yeah. You said email.